Good evening, friends. Hello, hello. And live is starting. Welcome, welcome everyone. If you start joining, I would absolutely love for you to simply comment a little emoji or where you are in the world. So I can really feel you in the field and it's going to really help me anchor more. Emily, Alex, oh my God, two of my favorite people ever. <laughs> and Lauren, oh my God, like you, you're the three, the three anchors. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yes, I can believe it because this is manifestation of perfect, beautiful new earth, right? Having Emily, Alex and Lauren. <laughs> Straight away and then book your it's only getting better and Charlotte. Thank you so much. Thank you so much everyone for joining Yay, so today we are here in New Zealand not yet in Europe <laughs> other states, but we are here on the 1111 gateway and During my meditation this morning I started receiving all of these downloads about what is happening energetically and it was so absolutely fascinating and delicious that I felt really really cold to share with you but not necessarily from a place of sharing what I have experienced this morning but more from actually channeling life a little bit about the special energy blueprint of this portal and how it's going to lead us to the next portal on the 12th of the 12th because after 10th of 10th now 11 11 and 12th of 12 we also have the 21st of december which is another powerful portal so we have all of these gateways um coming and they are here for a specific energetic purpose so it's very interesting to be able to consciously know a little bit what is going on so we can place ourselves more in alignment with the energy and receive more consciously the shift that the energies are here to bring us hey trina <laughs> So if you have any questions or anything that you would like to share or that you would like to have answered, I'm very happy you know, to be there for you. So if there is anything, you can also type in the comments. This is a very good opportunity for you to connect directly to me. I haven't done lives in a very long time, so I'm very happy to serve you. If there is any question arising in your field, um, like around, you know, around spiritual evolution, around manifestation of the new earth and these gateways, or of that I'm really really happy to tune into so I had a beautiful question asked through messenger from Bev who said that she couldn't join and this question was already here to help anchor a certain frequency of unity so Bev's question was is the ascension process individual or are we ascending as a collective and it's very relevant to the energies of this gateway because the energy of this gateway is to bring unity in the self. So it's all drawing back to the self. So we all know in the conscious community that everything starts with the self. But with this gateway, it's at the moment we are literally receiving through the day and through this month all the experiences in life that are going to really encourage us to shed even more light on our shadows and and encourage us align us into courage so the courage code is very very important and this gateway is here to help us uh, dive into the shadow world knowing that what we see when we start diving into the shadow world with an open heart and conscious awareness and a hard desire to stay anchored in light in truth more than actually staying in the shadow world of pain and trauma what we find is courage and courage is then amplified and really wired all the way to ourselves and through this courage we are literally collapsing timeline where we would reside in the in-between so many of us experience oscillation in timeline because we 
we still place our actions on unconscious patterns based on fears and limiting beliefs on audit and templates and patterns. And yes, we do the work. You know, I don't say we don't do the work. Yes, we do the work, but it's always something. And really this gateway invites us to go and dive deep all the way to a cellular level. So when we experience uh, emotional trauma or wounds or anything like that, then a cell basically shut off. So I talk a lot about that in the fractal shift online course all around fractals and fractals reflection. And what we study is that when a cell shuts off, then we cannot reside at the center point of creation, which is presence, trust, and faith and love. Like we start most likely oscillating in the lower quadrant of lower frequencies. So now it's with this gateway, we are really invited to stay anchored in the center part of who we are, which is, you know, residing in high frequencies of love, trust and courage, and then to go down. We are encouraged to go down and say, okay, I'm going to go down into my shadows and I'm going to, you know, keep on clearing all the way to the cellular level everything that can be cleared and purged and it's all the things that still reside and that prevents me from really living already to this day as an ascended being as an ascended master here in the new earth because it's actually already here new earth the messages that have been coming for you know a lot of us uh, working with star races and you know other realms of realities we have received a message that actually like new earth frequencies that are already here is just that now we are being wired and we are wiring ourselves to these frequencies so it's very much like you have a set of plugs and we were plugged into one and now we can choose to plug into another one but there are a couple of other plugs in between right and these other plugs are here as a bridge so that's the the 4D bridge. So the 4D bridge is like from being completely, you know, in the matrix, unconscious, not willing to see life differently, then we plug to something different. And then like through this different plugging, we can then start shifting higher and higher until we plug into 5D frequency. And we do that through many different ways right so what i share here is just one aspect of the message received by many so i would like to encourage you as well to keep on receiving for all the amazing you know like leaders and psychic and channels and healers that are out there and are offering you know channeling and healing for others you know just to help humanity awake so what i'm sharing is kind of one of these facets of this shift that we are experiencing. So when we start plugging more and more consciously into higher frequencies, then we're going to eventually stay plugged in there because the frequencies there are so yummy, right? They are so yummy. So this gateway is here to offer us a possibility to switch these plugs faster and to do it through specific self introspection. So it's literally like raising questions. So raising questions opens up the field of possibilities for us to heal or alchemize what needs to be healed or alchemized, knowing and with a greater understanding that healing is really understanding the how and when and why this happened to me and therefore I feel like it. Sometimes we need to go into healing. Sometimes we can tap into alchemy. It's like, oh, I feel this way. Can I shift instantly like this now? Yes, I can. Great. I'm just going to shift like this. I don't need to know why or how I felt like this. Like you wake up in the morning, feel a bit funny. It's not always necessary to know exactly what was my dream about and what does it mean and so on. No, it's not necessary. Like we go through so many processes on multidimensional level. We're never going to end, you know, end it. If we constantly question 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 every single feeling everything that we feel sometimes we just feel oh i feel a little bit funny can i alchemize this can i breathe into my heart and can i tune in and say oh, okay i reside in peace i reside in presence i'm amazing life is amazing i'm so grateful you know to wake up and just to be alive 
And sometimes that's enough simply to, you know, to allow us to kickstart the day, not having to work on the why and how. And sometimes it's like there is more and then we go into healing. Just checking if there is anything here. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Oh, it's so nice to see all of you. Mm. Hello, beautiful friends. Hey, sister. Hey, Christy. Yeah. As a group or collective, what should we be focusing on leading up to 20, yeah, 21, 20? So it's, I love this question, Lauren, because it's very similar to Bev asked, to what Bev asked uh, through text messages, right? It's like, as a collective. And this gateway actually is very much uh, like first, go inside, go inside, knowing that everything we heal, everything we alchemize within the self is going to anchor us into a highest identity. Because we get anchored into a highest identity, we get anchored into a highest timeline of service. We get a clearer understanding of our purpose and our mission. And then we can serve the collective with greater facility and ease and flow and grace, more anger into our unique soul blueprint. So to serve the collective now, to serve others and humanity now, like we have to serve ourselves. So this is the process of this month. And then after 12-12, we're going to start shifting more into action mode towards humanity, into kind of creating pathways to really serve others. So that's going to be in about a month, right? With the next gateway. So what is coming at the moment is like the Actorians have really shared that their focus, at least the team I work with, which is like a badass healing um, team, their focus is to really help humans shift on multidimensional level, starting with the self, trusting and knowing that the multidimensional level is physical body, physical body, emotional body, mental body, spiritual body, and then alternate realities, past life, future lives, and so on. But Actorians are working actively on a cellular level for some individual, for some human, to really heal and alchemize lower fractal reflections, finding the one cell that is shut off, the one cell that basically doesn't resonate with the new amount of light and frequencies being shown upon Earth right now. Because Earth is going through this photon, this photon thing, right? And so the Earth has never received so much light, so much light. And so we are literally showered by light all the time. We also have different advanced races coming to bring certain quantum technologies, certain tools to help us receive this light. But so many of us we have in our physical body we have organs that are not functioning properly we have cells that have shut up sh shut off because they are traumatized because they they yeah they they had very intense emotional challenges so they decided to shut off and so these cannot receive light. So this gateway is for us to really courageously go inside and, and send this shit out. So we reactivate those cells. So these cells, so basically we clear those cells. So these cells can then receive more light. So how do we do that, <laughs> Sandrine? I would like to invite you to really tap into your intuition and your abilities because we are all intuitive it's only we think we we are not and it's processes that we are not used to so we're gonna start questioning it allow your mind to go like what the fuck is this i'm not sure it's gonna work and just ignore it you know like don't find the mind just let he do it just let it do his thing you know just gonna ignore it and being able to find this one cell, we can do that through different techniques. So one technique that I really, really like is simply I close my eyes, I breathe, I go into my, into my space, kind of my meditative space, and I visualize a mirror in front of me. And I visualize my image being reflected to me. And I ask that this image represents me all the way to a cellular level. And then I'm going to start seeing some little dots. And for me, sometimes there are colors, sometimes it's just dark, sometimes it's different colors. But basically, it's like, don't it go like, woo, 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 like that? And I see, ooh, that there's something there. And I'm simply, so I do all sorts of techniques which are more advanced. And these techniques I teach in Fractal Shift Online course. 
but for the purpose of this transmission, it's simply you're going to uh, feel or see in the mirror in front of you that one cell. You could also feel it in yourself as you do that process. And you're going to simply connect to your heart center and visualize that one cell as the fractal, you know, which is the fractal reflection theory, the foundation of the body of work. I'm, I'm very privileged to channel. So you're going to visualize your cell like this. And then you're going to send love directly to the center. So the center point there is the center point of your fractal. So you are one fractal and you are also millions of little fractals, you know, all of these cells. So when we, ta we start wiring love into that, we wire love and it's like, I heal you, I alchemize you, you know, come back to life. And you're going to allow yourself to basically say the words that flow to, I love you, you're amazing, you're so vibrant. And you talk like really positive high vibe language to the one cell and you're going to observe the cell, cell shifting it's absolutely fascinating because you do that consciously it's going to create a ripple effect from that cell to all the cells around who are there for even if they had slight distortion that we didn't pick up they're going to heal and alchemize automatically creating a ripple effect in massive area of the body sometimes you know like from the base of the spine it can ripple all the way up to the top of the head so that is quantum healing and quantum alchemy. So if the mirror doesn't work for you, you can also go inside and simply tune in and you know, you breathe and then you start observing where there is a little bit more density. It's like, mm, I think that there is something there. And set the intention. You can, you can say, okay, my team around me, my spirit guide, my galactic team, Actorians, you can call in the Actorians, you know, it's not because I transchannel the Actorians that I have the privilege and ownership of working with them. No, like they are available to work with humanity. And if we call them very often, they are very, very happy to come and help. So you call like from your heart, beautiful Actorian team. I love you so much. Thank you so much for helping me and helping humanity. I sent, I would love your assistance on this. I'm really working from an open heart into healing and alchemizing cells inside of me that basically won't receive light. They shut off for some reason. I don't know how to do it. So if you really don't know how to do it yourself, keep on asking like that and trust that it happens because as we set more and more into that intention, we tap more and more into humility as well. So there is this kind of um, a beautiful dance between mastery, empowerment, and humility. It's like, yes, of course, we can self-heal. Of course, we can ascend, you know, like, yes, some masters ascend by staying by themselves in a cave. But if we have the opportunity to receive from advanced star races, why not, you know, take that opportunity to fast track our evolution, right? So I'm all in for that, knowing that I co-create the work with the amazing team that I work with and that you can also work with. It might not be the Actorians, it could be Palladians, Andromedans, or so many star races. So our job is to, to go in and to do the work. So this gateway is going to bring you exactly the experiences that you need to do that. So now I have spoken about physicality, but there is also healing around the emotional body and how to bring unity within the self, which is literally divine union within the self. As so many of us, like so many of us are coming, you know, through templates of divine union to anchor in like massive vortex of frequency that are going to literally shift you know humanity through like two big vortexes coming together just like that so first we are invited to find more and more unity within the self through emotional alchemy and it would be interesting just out of curiosity you know to observe your day during this 11 11 gateway and just observe where your thoughts go how you react emotionally if you have any pains in your body that are unusual not like if you go oh, like me i overdid it at the gym two days ago and i can still feel it so i know it's nothing to heal or alchemize it's just like no gym today thank you <laughs> anyway so it's like through this intention so it's really intention of observing the self with curiosity with questioning what is arising in my field today why is it why is it arising do i need to dig deep do i need to alchemize and like that we plug in we plug in into the you know the next plug taking us you know closer and closer and closer to being constantly plugged in the new earth frequency i'm just gonna check here if there's any questions anything hello 
Hey Haida, nice to see you. Yes, yeah, so very interesting. Um, very, very, very good question. That linear time was created by the Romans at the 11 year old in linear time. So that's a beautiful question. Let me tune in about that. It's that, you know, like with this linearity, it's like a new linearity coming from Roman times, you know, like we had different kind of linearity. So how come can we have a pontal on the 11, 11, when we know that it's kind of a, a matrix created linearity? I love that question. Let me bring the Actorian in so I don't answer from my mind <laughs> and my, you know, my rational, like I study the subject, but more. Hmm. Yes, so, so what is coming is that the question is very valid. Now we have to understand that the, the linearity that we exist at the moment is the linearity that is based on the foundational principle of the Roman calendar as through timeline shift in frequencies and throughout history, we have taken the timeline of anchoring the collective consciousness frequencies into the linearity that was offered to us and that most of the collective chose to uh, be bound to, which is the Roman calendar. Therefore, we are experiencing gateway that um, um, link and interwoven with the linearity created from a conscious collective level through humanity. If we were to go in parallel realities where we exist, these gateways would not be the same because we'd be, we would be at different time and space realities now. The frequencies that we experience are the frequencies uh, of these gateways because this is the um, this is the architecture that humanity is experiencing at the moment. Therefore, the energies are filtered through this energetic uh, architecture in the matrix that most humans in the collective are responding by. As we start plugging more and more into the new earth plugging, the new earth frequencies, we start shifting, like moving away from these metric frequencies, therefore residing more into mastery, and therefore these spontans will less, have less effect on us. As more and more people start ascending, tapping into their unique soul blueprint, and stay fully anchored into their soul, their soul purpose, the column of ascension, they will be less and less influenced by by these spontans, less and less influenced by astrology, by numerology, by human design, and so on, because they reclaim more and more and more their power and their soul blueprint and their freedom. They are not even bound by any architecture, as mentioned before, astrology, numerology, human design. By when the soul starts reclaiming more and more of its power, it doesn't get influenced by these gateways. The um, offering today is for the collective, um, as most people now are still um, are still kind of bound into these gateways to a certain extent. So it depends of the degree of uh, conscious awareness, open consciousness. The more the consciousness is open and the more the channel is pure, the less we are influenced by the energies of the collective, of this architecture of the matrix. The more we reside in sovereignty, we therefore reside in sovereignty and in mastery, and then we start observing. So as we receive these messages around these gateways, prediction, astrology, tarot reading, human design, numerology, and so on, we can therefore observe, observe this prediction, observe this energy, observe this flow, observe this movement, but observe them with a distance, being detached, observing the collective or friends or family member and to a certain extent or human as well going through these processes but we do not we are not trapped into these processes even if these processes are there um, to help people understand them more so it's like when we start moving from being plugged 100% into the matrix, we're going to start plugging into different architectures, different systems. Some systems are uh, being interested in astrology, human design, numerology, tarot, and then channeling and so on. And we're going to start plugging into different things. And that is there like um, architecture of the matrix then becomes architecture of different systems 
as mentioned, astrology and so on. And then we start plugging into more and more advanced, more and more advanced system until we reside into a pure column of ascension through channeling and mastery. So like that would be the, can you see? Okay. So the, yeah, <laughs> with the screen, it's hard. This would be like the 3D matrix. So like that's the first plug, right? And then when we start plugging into something, like we start awakening, we start plugging and do it's like, oh my God, astrology is amazing. Like, how did you, like, how? I, I never knew that because of the planets, because I was born on that day. Like, you know, it directs my personality, my ego, and so on. So we kind of start opening up like this. So these systems are in place to help the awakening process go smoother. It kind of gives a sense of direction to the, you know, to the awakening process. And this is why there are so many body of work helping through so many different ways with the awakening process. But the more and more we, we ascend, the more and more we reclaim our power, we reclaim our freedom, the more and more we rely only to a column of ascension, direct connection to source consciousness, direct connection to supreme consciousness, and therefore we are not in any kind of matrix system um, that, that we are out. So we rely entirely and solely on our channeling. This is for advanced mastery. This is the path that humans are on. Humans who have sole contract of awakening now are on this path of plugging from one matrix system to another, to another, to another, helping the greater awakening, helping residing in more freedom and consciousness. So now this is interesting to understand as well that the matrix is not the enemy because the matrix is what allows humans to exist and have a human experience. If the matrix was non-existent, humanity would be non-existent. It's simply shifting matrix. It's sim simply removing from the matrix what no longer serves us, what no longer serves the greater collective. So it is not about destroying, dissolving. It's dissolving template within the matrix. It is not destroying the matrix. If we destroy the matrix, we are unplugging ourselves. Basically, we leave we leave Earth. We are not on Earth. We are not on human body anymore. So when we come in human body, there is an agreement that we are going to be plugged in a matrix. We get to reclaim our power in to which matrix we're going to be plugged in. Like, I refuse to be plugged in the matrix of nine to five work, destructive relationship and scarcity mindset. I choose to be plugged, <clears throat> sorry, in a matrix of abundance, of freedom. This is still a matrix. This is just a matrix with so much more freedom, so much more love and abundance and fun. I choose to shift and from 3D matrix that is not aligned to me to a matrix that is aligned to me. And this is how we claim our creator codes back. This is by realizing that there is nothing wrong with this, 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 or that. Simply, I do not, I do not align with it, so I do not plug myself into that. I will plug myself into what suits me. And there is nothing selfish about that. It's simply, simply reclaiming power, reclaiming freedom. And it's exactly what we are invited to do right now, is that where am I still plugged into a matrix that no longer serves me? How can I unplug from it? with ease and grace, doesn't have to be rebellious, doesn't have to be angry, destructive, and like judgmental, simply, mm, okay, that experience no longer serves me, I will plug into another one, therefore it's going to help to answer the question that Beth asked previously, do we shift individually as a, or as a collective, there is no different, no differentiation between the two, we are the creator of our reality, what we would like to invite you to, to tune into is where is this question coming from? Why are you arising this question? This question is based on fear and this question is also based on love, which are two opposite conflicting frequency for the one who chooses to reside in love. When we reside in love, we learn to ditch the fear away. We learn to alchemize the fear away. This question about the ascension of the collective versus the ascension of the individual is placed on a fear that our loved ones are not going to make it. It's placed on a fear that if we ascend, if we awake, we're going to leave behind all our loved ones. This creates separation. This is not conscious reasoning bringing unity consciousness union within the self and union within others. It creates separation. So I would like to invite you to 
ask yourself the question and to honestly answer, why am I scared if I think it's an individual process? List it, breathe into it. Oh no, you're human for thinking like that. You're human, you're thinking, oh my God, it's horrible. I, Sandrine, used to think that that way, you know, like way back when I would start channeling for the earth, I would end up crying for the whole night because I thought like my whole family was going to die of disease and wars and stuff because the world was going to go to shit. And I was going to like, I didn't want to awake. So it created distortion in the fields, holding us back from evolving. So it's realizing I love them so much. I really love them. Oh my God, I really, I so love them. And what can we do when we love other people? We can honor them and we can see their own light. We can respect the process. We can respect the matrix that they are plugged into. We do not need to go and say, yeah, wake up. You're going to be left out, you motherfucker. Like, I love you so much. Wake up, wake up, wake up. No, we do not need to go into lecturing people like that because that's going to create even more distortion. It's like we can love them. We can invite them. We can invite them by, you know, walking the talk that we preach of unity, love and awakening and showing them how happy we are unapologetically. And it's like, oh, how do you do to be so happy? How, how can you look so young? And things like that. It's like, oh, you know, like I meditate a lot. I eat very healthy. And we give them some like little things. And this is how we understand that we are here to serve others when we respect we respect 100% their own process and we trust that they are also ascending because this is also a distortion that is creating separation in humanity at the moment. 3D versus 5D. The more and more I channel the Actorians at the moment, the more and more they ask me to drop these notions for the time being because in me it was creating separation, saying that it doesn't have to create separation. But there is actually, when the person resides in love, and most of humanity resides in love, like, do you actually know a human being who was born and who consciously is here to create pain and damage to their core? And if you think about someone, don't you think that behind that facade of being angry and like really aggressive, there is just only like a broken little girl or broken little boy who just begs to be loved and begs to be shown another way. Most of humanity is like that. So most of humanity is looking for love. Most of humanity's hard desire is to be anchored in love. And when we start realizing that, we can see that the awakening process is both individual and collective because we cannot hold ourselves back from our accelerated evolution underway at the moment because we fear for others. It is not serving ourselves, it is not serving others either. When we reside in our sovereignty, trusting that we are awakening and therefore we will be connected, channeling more life force, energy, opening up our consciousness, residing more in love, in our unique soul blueprint, therefore we can serve them. We can serve them simply by staying positive, optimistic, showing them how amazing life is. Because life is freaking amazing. Residing in divine knowing is literally creating a vortex around us. So wherever we go, like to the supermarket, you know, to the garage, to wherever we go, we just spread love, we spread happiness, we spread gratitude, we spread trust. And this is, therefore, how we help people plug into higher level of frequency. Sometimes it's even unconscious. And yes, there are souls that they haven't contracted to go through spiritual ascension process at the moment, but they are still plugged into matrices that, you know, like, this is interesting drawing. I had never seen this before, by the way, it's just like channeled, you know, this is why it's so cool to channel. Like, it's interesting to see that the design here that the Actorians uh, made me draw is actually like the 3D matrix is inside, right? So it is completely influenced by the outside matrix. So let's say like you reside here or there because you, you choose to evolve, you choose to pray, you choose to be here to, you know, to spread love and so on. Therefore, it's kind of this literally sense you know, sends frequencies to the core. So it's like, we do not attack the 3D matrix. You know, we don't want to bomb it, but it's like, 
it's diffusion, it's diffusion amplification of love frequency, and then it's happening. <laughs> it's happening, and yes, there is a, a timeline reality that's completely available to us. 2022, or like the tipping point has arrived in human consciousness, so humans consciously know that they can choose to live in scarcity, pain mindset, or dated 3D matrix, or they can plug into another matrix. It will become conscious that timeline is available to humanity right now. That timeline is the, um, the fastest, like it's the, the, the prediction where like more and more people actually do the work fast, you know, so like it's like huge mass wave of awakening and shifting. So this is one of the timelines. There are also timelines available that get us to that point in 10 years or over. But in two years, it's possible. It's not bad, right? <laughs> I think it's very good. Amazing question, Hader. I love it how questions like that simply open up the field to receiving more. So like, shoot it, guys. I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much for the question. It's really next level question. Oh, thank you, Emily. I cannot imagine conscious evolutionary life without the fractal shift teachings. Yay! Emily is an amazing, amazing student of fractal shift and also, also other amazing things. Yes. Oh, thank you for sharing. Amazing. Yay. Yeah, detached. Yes, I love your yeah, I love everything. Thank you. So with this gateway of eleven eleven is that no more than ever we are going to have because of our soul program, our soul contract and our willingness to co-create with star races that are here to serve us into accelerated evolution. We are literally going to call into our, our grid. So our grid is like our everyday life, you know, what we can see, what we can touch, what we do, how we eat, you know, like the kind of relationship we have, the kind of work we have. It's like we are going to call into our grid mirror and we're going to be conscious that these mirrors are there. So it has always been the case but very few people were aware of this consciously so now it's going to be more and more conscious it's like oh this interaction mirroring me oh that interaction mirroring me every single thing is going to mirror you and at every single moment you will have the choice to rise up to the occasion to tap into love to tap into non-judgment acceptance surrendering union with the self and also union with the person in front of you so it's like really rising the frequency in pure detachment, but also aligned action. So when we receive the opportunity to react a certain way or to react another way, we will have a greater conscious understanding of the process happening. And every time we take an action, we think a thought, or we do anything that is based on love frequency, on the heart desire, you know, to evolve, to serve others, to serve ourselves, you know, to uplift humanity. Every time we place an action as simple as it is, you know, we literally send a message into the quantum that's going to create a ripple effect that is therefore anchoring us into a higher identity, higher identity, higher identity. Oh, look at Sandrine. Before she would have yelled at that guy driving like an asshole in the car, like the snow snail on the motorway, like typical Sandrine. Oh, like fucking snail, you know, like just it's 100 for goodness sake. Why do you go at 80? Like, oh, Sandrine is experiencing that your choice point, am I going to go and yell at the guy from my car thinking like nobody can hear me or am I already going to practice being plugged into the, you know, the higher matrix, <laughs> new earth matrix where it's like, oh, bless him, bless him. I'm just going to speed up and, you know, buy him and send him love and light and, and go on. So it's like every single moment we choose that, we choose a higher identity. I am not that person that was angry before. I'm not that person that was always traumatized, always wounded before, that never took any responsibility for her own processes, emotions, and so on. Self-responsibility, courage confidence trust love every time we take that bam we tap more and more and more into alignment so 
each and every single one of us, we have a unique soul blueprint, right? Also, we go deep into that in Fractal Shift Online course. It's fascinating because we get to go literally where the souls are created and we get to see the four primal codes that each and every single human on earth has and then to understand the, four, the eight other codes that are very unique to us. And when all of these codes blend, then they are alchemized by a very special advanced being to create, to create us. So if you're interested, everything is taught and explained through activation in Fractal Shift Online course. And we have therefore these 12 primal codes, knowing that after like we activate and you know we bring many, many, many other codes. So at the moment, this gateway is literally going like all the way in. So it's going all the way in through everything that I have shared before through emotional healing alchemy, physical healing alchemy, and plugging consciously into higher frequency. All of that is happening so we can activate full remembrance of our unique soul blueprint. When we create this powerful remembrance, everything is going like, it's like literally like a, a, a big, it's a self-awakening. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like we understand so deeply who we are and what the fuck we're doing here. It's like, oh my God, you know, like <laughs> so long I've waited for this. And now this gateway is very much there to help us with that. It's like this, I can literally see like, it's like a, a drill, but a love and light drill from beautiful star races, like a drill going like all the way to our core. And it's like, Okay, so interesting thing coming here. They say there is um, a parallel with shadow work around this drilling metaphor that is coming to me. It's that a lot of the time we, when we go in, we go through this, this passage of seeing all of our wounds, our shadows, our traumas, our processes uh, on, on dirt, you know, you know, like uh, I've been so angry, I've been so sad, not taking any responsibility. Oh my God, I've done all of this to that person, poor person, I was so mean to that person. And we have to be very careful not to get stuck there because then we get stuck into the shadows and it's literally Pandora box. This is why so many people don't do the work because they're scared, because they don't know how to do it. But it is just literally, it is a layer. So when we start doing this work, we, we must connect to courage code because it is only temporary. It's like there is this tiny so with the drilling, it's like there might be this tiny pain or this bigger pain experience, but we do not identify with the pain. This is not us. This is just an experience. This is just a cellular memory. This is just a subconscious pattern. This is not us, for goodness sake. We are infinite light beings. We are infinite warriors of light. So that's who we are. So it's not like, you know, like, any traumas, any wounds happening to us on a human level, like it kind of fucked us up. No way, because we are far more powerful than anything that can happen to us. So when we start feeling this pain, it's like going, huh, yeah, hmm, yeah, and then allowing it to kind of be processed, and then bam, then we tap into our light. So it's okay. So another drawing coming here. Hopefully the Actorians don't mind my drawing skills because it's extremely basic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I don't know how to express that, but <laughs> I will share. Look at this! Ooh, amazing, right? So this, like um, this part here, here, that's the shadow, right? So we place ourselves in our heart and then we so it's just a representation. So then we start looking inside and then we start tapping into this layer here. And it's not so much, a, it's not an energetic layer around us. It's a process. So we start tapping into that. And for a while, we might feel that there is only that. There is only clearing, you know, like we start realizing that, you know, our love life is not aligned. Our work is not aligned. We 
we are a bitch, like I'm such a bitch, you know, I manipulate people so they can love me. I have manipulated my partner so I wouldn't be alone. And we're like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, it's like the dark night, dark night of the soul. No, 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 no. It's simply self-awakening. Like you realizing everything, like, yeah, you didn't rise up to the occasion a lot, you know, but just you did the best with what you had. So do not linger here. Do not linger by realizing that you did the best you could with what you had. Know that you have conscious awareness of this process. Go beyond it. Wow, I was really, I was really courageous, you know, like I was so hard when I was a little girl because my father left me and I had no father figure. Then I always needed a boyfriend. I always needed a boyfriend to feel good. But so I had to manipulate them. I had to manipulate them to have people around me because I didn't know how to be myself. No one had ever shown me how to really be loved because when I was myself, when I was a little girl, my dad left and I felt really unloved and unwanted. You know, that's my story. <laughs> it's always easier to, you know, for me to take me as, you know, the human example. And therefore, I manipulated. I manipulated men in so many ways, you know, just to be loved and not to feel alone. And then, oh my god i realized that oh my god i was such a bitch i was horrible to her to all of them but in stay instead of staying like that it's like whew, i did what i what i had to to kind of survive to find a sense of love because i wanted to be connected to love i wanted to know what love was i didn't know what to do so i tried that and i tried that and i tried that and for a while that was good for a while that served me until this point now i realized that doesn't serve me anymore to manipulate men so I'm not alone in my house. That no longer serves me. So do I choose to continue to do it now that I have that awareness? Hmm, no, I don't. Therefore, bam, plug in, plug in to higher frequency realm. And we are therefore crushing. We are crushing, literally. We connect from the heart. We tap into our light, our greater purpose, our greater calling, like our courage. And then we go back and we amplify the heart frequency. We amplify the heart frequency until there is nothing else but just like pure compassion for the self, pure love for the self and empathy for the self, realizing that, yes, we all, we all do the best we can with what we have. And as you receive this transmission, and as we have this gateway, now it's even more than ever before to reside into that. Friends, listening to this, this is exactly how we reach unity with the self. It's by loving ourselves through all our story, through all our trauma, through all our processes. But taking responsibility now, well, I'm a grown up, you know, I'm nearly 40 years old woman and I choose not to do that any longer because I want authentic relationship with myself, loving myself, hanging out with myself. I love hanging out with myself. I have the best time with myself. And then when the time comes to enter divine union from a place of pure respect and understanding and authenticity, because I would have reached a um, degree of alchemy within me that then allows me to receive in my vortex and then in my grid, in my 3D reality, so I can squeeze my divine union partner and kiss him all over. Hmm? So when that happens, it's like, yes, you know, meeting another soul who has also done similar work because we call in, we call people that are on the similar frequency. So I'm just going to turn my heat pump. Well, it's very cold, but as I as I do this work, I get so hot and I get so red on the camera, and I'm like, oh, my face, my face. People are watching, self-conscious, shifting, shifting this, shifting this. Okay, smooth skin, smooth skin, quantum filter. <laughs> so this is how how we can really wire this gateway of eleven, eleven to to our advantage and yes like coming into meeting people of similar frequency we meet people that are plugged in similar frequencies so if you reside at the you know the center of the square you're going to meet more and more people that are there and as soon as you start opening up and plugging into different kind of metric system then you're going to start meeting new like people who are plugged into same you know 
metric system like for example if you start waking up and you enjoy women's circle or men's circle then you're going to start meeting people in that metric system right like or astrology or channeling or anything like you're going to start meeting people like that and it's awesome and then after a while it's like oh i loved it but I want to experience something else and this is how we start meeting like people from similar frequencies and then we get to hang out and yes create new friends friendship that's amazing hmm? okay so i'm just gonna check here no separation no <laughs> hmm Ah, oh, thank you, Anna. Yay! I love having you in the program as well. Yes, yeah, so Beva, um, I have answered this question earlier. I don't know when you joined, but we do not try to wake up friends and family. No, we leave them alone just to be. We radiate our own unique essence or joy or gratitude. And like we simply, we lead by examples because when we try to convince others, it comes from a place of ego or wanting to save them, but they are not to be saved. You know, they save themselves and we serve others by holding them at the highest. You know, like for example, I also like to use him because he also never watched my life but my ex-husband for example like I always hold him in my heart at the highest you know and we are very very different like we would say he's plugged into like you know another matrix let's say like this but I always hold him at the highest I do not try to to change him or to wake him up there is no point he is very good at righteousness and arguments right so i'm not even gonna go down that way what i do is that in every interaction i see him for who he is a, a human being who is doing everything he can to be there for me to be there for our daughters and to do the right thing so the right thing for him is you know in that matrix and he does he does everything he can you know to do the right thing in that matrix and and i i really honor that you know that that's beautiful you know his intention is there to love and and to be there for you know for others in his own way this is not for me to judge to say this is right or wrong and he's not spiritual and he doesn't meditate and he doesn't pray he doesn't like, like believe in like you know aliens or god like he's an atheist and so I'm like no i just let him be you know he's He's doing the work with his own tools in his own system. I do my work, you know, in my own matrix with my own tools and really like we can honor, honor so many, so many different ways, so many different processes. And yes, I understand that like we want others to also um, awake, but if it's to have conversation, we can find people to have conversation with, like we don't need to have this kind of like re or dear conversation with everyone, right? <laughs> Yes, Alex, you love meeting galactic light leaders like you, yay. <laughs> yes. Amazing. I love seeing so many of you. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, if you have any questions, you can type into the comments. I will just tune in to see if anything else must be shared at the moment. <sighs> yeah, look, your your soul blueprint is always there it's just that when it's unconscious it is not really vibrating at the highest level of frequency available to us so it's like um yeah let's say for example that's a cool metaphor that is coming let's say that you have a bank account that you don't know about and that you have like 10 million dollars on that bank account but you know you don't know it's there it's like you are actually rich like fucking rich like you have so much money like 10 million dollar 50 million dollar whatever but it's like you don't know it's there so you're not gonna use it you're not gonna uh, change lives change your life or whatever but like it's you it's in your name you know like you just don't know about it it's the same with soul blueprint it's there so it's like we, we have it it's within us it's who we are but because we completely ignore it, we don't consciously know what it is, who we are exactly, then like we can't really we don't really know how to use it. What does it mean? What does it mean for us, for our purpose, and so on? So it's really like this invitation to get to know you more and more through this process is literally going to activate all of that. So 
Actually, mentioning this, I also had the guidance to offer very unique, and it's just a one-off offering of, so it's um, channeled gateways activation, and this channel gateways activation is channel for unique person. Let's say that my beautiful sister Shannon wants to have a channel gateway activation. You know, Shannon wants it. Okay, amazing. So what I'll do is that I go into a meditation, I meditate, and then I start channeling and I record an audio. And this audio is going to have very specific light language to reactivate Shannon's soul blueprint, remembrance also. And because I work with the Actorians, it means that through these activations, the Actorians are sending special frequencies and also will be working in Shannon's field when she received that activation. And for a couple of days after, afterwards. So these channel gateways activation will also have predictions for Shannon. It will say, okay, so for you with your unique soul blueprint at this unique moment in creation, in your unique linearity, this is what you really must focus on. We invite you to focus on this. We invite you to focus on that. We also can predict this happening as one of the timelines available to you. Understanding that predictions, they show timelines available to us. So this is why sometimes if we go to see certain channels, they might say slightly different things. It's because we tap in different timelines. So through this gate channel gateways activation, when I channel, I'll always tap into the highest available timeline for the human at this moment, therefore anchoring the human into that highest identity, highest timeline. So then Shannon received that audio, which is like more or less 15 to 20 minutes, and she can literally binge listen to it especially around gateways. So that's about a two month, uh, it's a two month, how can I say, it's a two month energy forecast, a two month energetic wiring into anchoring more of soul blueprint, working on specific area, receiving light language activation and certain prediction to help us anchor ourselves into the most ascended timeline available to us. So if you are interested into this channel gateways activation, I have a couple on offer at the moment and um, yeah, I do that. Go into quantum, channel your audio and I send it to you within more or less seven days. So if you're interested, it's on my website. There's a pop-up and then you can click and get it. And the cool thing is that you can get it for friends as well because I thought, ooh, that's an awesome gift. I would love to give that to some of my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might send that to some of my friends actually, um, people who have been supporting me so much, you know. Ooh. So through this, um, yeah, if you're, if you're interested, that's really there to help everything that I have shared about before. Any questions? <laughs> Who doesn't want a channel gateway activation? <laughs> Not Alex. Alex wants one. <laughs> oh, I love it. Keen Shannon, oh not that I have taken you as an example, sister. I think I might have to, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I might not have to. I choose in my heart portal to send one, Shannon. I will send one to you, <laughs> my sister. Yay. Okay, I have a question here from amazing Emily. Yes, it's beautiful reflection. Thank you, Emily, of co-parenting with um, an ex-partner, another parent who is on different timeline, who is plugged into a different matrix system. Yes, and you're beautiful, Emily. Like, I mean, like, if someone can navigate those waters with so much grace and love, it's it's really you, right? You're so anchored into love and and surrendering and, and giving. Like, yeah, it's amazing. I love you all. <laughs> okay, I'll see if there is anything else. It is good for today. So, um, there is all of this all the way to 12-12 portal. 
So I will see how I do on the 12-12 pantal. I'm not quite sure that I will do something like it because the 12-12 pantal is very unique for me because it will be the one year anniversary when I, I buried my mother. So that was last year. She passed on the 9th and three days later on the beautiful 12-12 pantal. You know, she was, we had a beautiful ceremony for her and a couple of hours later, I was flying back with the kids, um, you know, back to New Zealand. So... She did it so well, you know, like, it was, it was amazing. So I'm not sure I will be in an energetic state to be able to, to channel and be there for you, but who knows, you know, I might be inspired and like, I don't know. <laughs> so we will see, but I will, I will, um, I will keep in touch. Definitely. So if you are interested with this, you know, offering temporary offering of channeled gateway activation you can hope on my website everything is there spoil yourselves for your family because you deserve it they deserve it and i also have a lot of programs running and the big mastermind that is starting in february and i'm very very excited because we have amazing souls who have already joined this mastermind fractal alchemy so if you are interested you can um you can get in touch with me simply dm me say like oh yeah i would love to know more and you know, I can chat more personally with you. I would love that. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for your support and for your love. Thank you. I really, I'm really, really, really so grateful for you. Yeah, so grateful for you all. May you receive my love, my support, my courage codes. Anchoring into the light from your heart portal now and always, 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 because you are a magnificent soul. You are, you so are. May you receive that and anchor that even more into that divine knowing of your unique soul blueprint, your unique magnificence, eternal, always. Mm. I thank you. I love you. Bye and see you another time. <laughs>